Right, looking down on the distributor, you'll see the firing order is one, three, four, two, and you'll see uh, the rotation is that way, and you have to make a note um, for your timing where, where the the actual rotor arm is pointing towards, and you'll see it'll be pointing hopefully roughly before um, number one. If it isn't, then you, you're on the wrong um, rotation of your engine. The two rotations, one rotation is exhaust, the other one is for firing and you need to be top dead centre when top dead centre on number one piston uh, with the top points opening. I'll uh, go to the other side and show you the, the uh, distributor. Now this is an ideal opportunity, you can see the uh, timing uh, mark on the on the crankshaft there on the uh, chain cover um, and if you look I put a bit of white paint on it there's a, a hole in the pulley there you can see it and that is your top dead center um, but of course as I explained it's got to be top dead center when the points are just opening and about to fire on number one piston so that that's first stage of your static timing here. So you can see down there that the, uh, the white marks that I put on the pulley uh, it's at top dead centre but when you look across here at the distributor the it's pointing there it's away from it it should be over that side it should be over this side here pointing towards number one uh, and so I know that is top dead centre but on the exhaust stroke so I've got to rotate the whole thing now and bring it to the right position and then check if you should see there with it in the wrong position that the points are wide open there so it won't fire so there it is now that is top dead centre with the with the distributor and with the uh, rotor arm in the right position pointing towards number one and the gaps on the on the points just opening up for for that and as you see again down in the dark there that the white dot that I've put on is top dead center that is uh, the basic static timing uh, before you adjusted anything you've got if you've got on yours this uh, this adjuster here uh, before you do any timing make sure that is about mid-range so you've got movement either way for when you use your uh, stroboscope to do the final and I'll show you the final uh, with a stroboscope on it with the engine run. Now if you can't see your timing mark you, what you have to do is take the, the uh, spark plug out of here and uh, by checking you can see the piston coming up and down but you have to make sure that the piston is at top dead centre you can see it with the spark plug out um, and it, the, everything else in the position that you can see now but uh, if you can't see your, your timing mark down there that's the alternative by using the with a, a spark plug out